Motorola Atrix 4G. Yes, this is the phone that won CNET's best of CES at the smartphones category at CES 2011. The Atrix is a world of early firsts housing one of the first dual-core processors on a consumer phone, displaying on the first QHD screen, first 1930mAh battery on a 10.9mm thin phone, and powered up with a hefty 1GB of DDR2 RAM. Not only is the Atrix phenomenal in its specs, but the Atrix's unique accessories deserve a mention as well. Alongside the Atrix, you may choose to buy yourself a standard dock to fulfill some essentials, an HD dock to power up an entertainment center, or Motorola's own web top. You can even opt for a car dock and transform your Atrix from a phone into a full-fledged navigation system. However, the main attraction is Motorola's lap dock. The lap dock transforms your Atrix into a mediocre laptop through the web top app. In the box you will get the Motorola Atrix 4G itself, a micro HDMI to HDMI cable to access an entertainment center on your HDTV, a standard 3.5mm headphones with an extra pair of earbuds and a shirt clip, a USB to micro USB cable to charge and connect your Atrix to your computer, a 1930mAh battery to power up the Atrix, a backplate to cover the Atrix and protect it from external elements, a wall adapter to charge the Atrix, and some quick start guides and manuals to help get you started. Now on the front of the Atrix you have a 0.3 megapixel front facing camera for 4G video conferencing, a LED message light, the 4 inch display, and 4 generic buttons, the menu home, back, and search buttons. On the top of the device you have the power slash sleep button that also doubles as a finger scanner and a 3.5mm headset jack. On the left side of the device you have a micro USB port and a micro HDMI port. On the right side of the Atrix you will have access to the volume rocker. And on the rear you have a 5 megapixel camera that doubles as a video recorder and a speaker grill at the bottom of the device. The Atrix weighs 135 grams, about 4.8 ounces, and measures 2.5 inches wide, 4.63 inches long, and just 0.43 inches thick. As I mentioned earlier, the Atrix runs on NVIDIA's Tegra 2 processor, offering you 1 GHz of quick dual-core power. It has 1 GB of DDR2 RAM for smoother performance and multitasking, a 4-inch QHD or quarter high definition screen at a resolution of 960 by 540, allowing for almost the same viewing pleasure as Apple's Retina display on an even bigger screen. The Atrix, upon release, housed the highest resolution display on an Android smartphone. The capacitive touchscreen also has a light and proximity sensor as well as a built-in accelerometer and compass. The 1930 mAh battery allows for up to 250 hours of standby time and 9 hours of talk time without any power conserving apps. The camera snaps pictures at 5 megapixels and records 720p HD video, which will later be upgraded to 1080p via a software upgrade. The Atrix has an internal storage capacity of 16 gigabytes and can add a micro SD card to maximize storage to 48 gigabytes. That's 16 gigabytes internal and 32 gigabytes via micro SD. All in all, the Atrix sounds great on paper, but can it really stack up to all the hype? And can it really take place of King's smartphone? The official Tech 2 Media Motorola Atrix 4G review will be online next week. Until then, this has been Carl with another Tech.